While this body has olfactory sensors, I do not have positive or negative associations with any specific scent. Oh. Well, lucky you. That's funny. That's funny. She's got a nose. By your continued existence, Shepard. The probability of surviving as long as you have. That's what I need. That's that's the kind of friend I need. Hey, I'm I'm really impressed. You just keep existing. Maybe that's not the kind of friend I need, actually. Huh. Huh. Hello, Shepard. I mean, I got that that was supposed to be like a well, slight, but Turians can flip out and lose their shit just like the rest of us. <laughs> They're under a lot of pressure. You stole the Normandy, got blown up by the Collectors, and sent us on a suicide mission to the Galactic Core. And I haven't mutinied once. Not once. That's very nice of you, Joker. Hey, I appreciate it. Honestly, if you mutinied, if you were like, I'm the captain now, I'd be like, you got it. Deal. Right. I, I will be a grunt. I will be, I'll be a recruit. You make me whatever you want, I'll shine your shoes. The second that Joker decides that he's going to save the world, I believe that uh, the new security force in the station. Kandros. Did Kandros die? Hmm. Thanks, Bray. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I didn't do talking to everybody. So no, I haven't talked to anybody or everybody. I believe that I've talked to everybody in there because I talked to Morden and I talked to... Yeah, uh, I should be good there. But I have not talked to... Um, who? I don't think there's anyone else on this flight deck, right? Who's in this area? Rats. Rats live in that area, clearly. Can we clean that up, guys? That was like a whole room, right? What's in there now? Storage? We clearly had enough room for storage before. I don't think that needs to be there. Um, I don't think we have anyone Enough here. What oh! What were you doing before we met up here? Oh, you know. This and that. Come on, spill it to Sony. Very well. I fought several explosive battles with Cerberus. I helped Shepard stop a robotic assassin on Mars. Oh, and I discovered plans for a Prothean Doomsday device that were buried for 50,000 years. <laughs> yeah, so just this and that, huh? I like that they're chatting. On a secret mission to this, my, this is awesome. No one told me anything about it. I'm curious to see how this bomb on Tachanka plays out. Right, that's the next thing we're doing. Thank you for the reminder. I almost forgot. Shepard. Hello, Shepard. Hey. Hello, Shepard. Hey. Hello, Shepard. Hey. Hello, Shepard. Hey. Hello, Shepard. Bye. Well, so, there's a door. Archangel. You heard about that, huh? Your sojourn on Omega generated quite a few articles, not to mention security footage. There's one thing I couldn't dig up, though. Did you really take out three Blue Suns mercenaries with one bullet? No, of course not. It was just two. The third guy had a heart attack. Not fair to count him. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, God. The, the thing is, like, what's weird about Mass Effect Andromeda... And I guess it shouldn't be weird because you love these characters because they were in Mass Effect 1 and 2, right? Like Garrus, if you dropped Garrus in here, I'd feel like he was Vega. Although Vega's not funny. That's the issue. Like Vega messes up by not being funny. That's his issue. Shepard. Nothing to talk about. So if I walk out, I'll, um, I don't think there's anyone to talk to here. I guess I can check with Glyph. Um... At and your then I'll service. just go back down. What's up, Glyph? What's up? I hate this. I hate I hate this part. Why did they do that? So when I want to look at them, why do I look at them at that angle? Why is them straightforward me sitting at standing at this angle? 
That makes no sense at all. Like if the idea is they're always facing me, they're not doing a good job. They're doing a really bad job. I don't get that. That's really weird to me. Um, right, nothing to see in there. I haven't checked the area where Edie's core is for a while. No, that would. Mm. Oh right, Morden's here. Perhaps stimulate cell regeneration with a. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how I would do it. Good. Yep. Shepherd, Eve, ready for travel to Tuchanka. How is she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated. Likely stress. Eating appropriately. Could you prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure? My people don't have her opinion somewhat different. Nice talking with you, Morden. We'll be here if you need me. Continuing to study Shroud in meantime. I don't think we have anything else to say yet. Something else, Commander? Mm -mm. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. Wait, not even um, the engineer, engineer Dan Daniels, not Daniels, Donnelly, is it Daniels? Could be Dan Adams, engineer Adams, right? Engineer Adams isn't even here. Adams, yo Adams. Where's Ken and uh, what's her name? They're my favorites. Yo, hey, what's up, Javik? You should not have let the Turian soldier evade his responsibility. I didn't. I Protheans didn't forgive many mistakes. If he had been under my command, I would have marooned him in the desert, buried him in sand up to his neck, and let the wildlife feast on his eyes. Mm. If he survived that, I would have rewarded him by shooting him in the head. Good soldiers are a precious resource. The stupidity of one cannot be allowed to jeopardize the lives of the others. I don't know that he made a stupid decision, though, because they knew that if they flew straight in, they were going to get destroyed. The so. Torians are hiding something, Commander. Be careful. To yeah, I know what they're hiding. always a wasteland. It once had jungles and forests. from Earth, off the radar, reaping begins in rural areas. Millions are dead in the Central Asian wilderness, even more in Sub-Saharan Africa. You don't want to send hope the to the people? View of what happens when the reapers don't stop to indoctrinate. Now, in the battle space. Is this helping? Commander. That doesn't seem like that's helping. Like, I mean, I think freedom of the, the press is important. Hello, Commander. Hello, Commander. Hello, Commander. It's interesting that I can, like, very rarely have a conversation with any of my crewmates. Parts of Tachanka reminded me of the desert back home. The lizards and worms are bigger, but, you know, the sand and everything. Yeah, the sand was very much the same. Primark's son is in over his head, no? It's coarse. Ready when you are. Gets everywhere. Ready when you are. Mm, I think we've done everything we can. Yeah, I mean, we have. That's crazy. It seems like we should be able to do a lot more. Commander. Nothing, trainer? All right. Well, let's do the uh, bomb mission. Yeah.
That's an important one. James looks terrifying. He looks like the um, the assassin guy. All right, so most of these weapons were... Was that useful? I used it against the flying thing, but I don't know that it was actually like a great... I mean, it does do a ton of damage. And I did have my abilities up pretty much all the time. So I've got a weapon for crowd control, like a an SMG, a rapid fire weapon. I've got a weapon for close range combat. I've got a weapon for long range combat. And I've got a weapon for just lots and lots and lots of damage. Honestly, you know what? It is, it is probably worth it considering how tiny the weight is. Like look at how little that weighs compared to basically anything except for the plasma SMG. Like, compared to the Madoc, it does so much more damage. And yeah, it has a low fire rate, but that's sort of the point. Is It's like, let's do a ridiculous amount of damage with this shot. So, okay. Um, I don't know that I need a shotgun. If I remove the shotgun, what do I end up with? Wow. Let's try this without the shotgun for the moment. If we're in close quarters, we'll use the plasma SMG. I don't know that it'll work. I mean, like logically that it shouldn't, but maybe it does. I don't know. Yeah, this is so crazy. What does it do? Uh, description. They're exploding shrapnel discs. Oh my god, what a ridiculous weapon. Perfect. It's exactly what I need. Cool. Power damage of squad mates. Absolutely. Look, I don't care how strong you are. Make me stronger. Um. Yeah, let's up the lift grenade. Let's have it be... Uh, like really wide area so impact radius uh, grenade capacity or well power duration wouldn't be bad I'll have to see how many grenades I end up with that's kind of useful that's way more useful I think stunning them for three seconds hmm Probably stunning them for three seconds is actually the better move. Normandy shuttle, this is Lieutenant Victus with the 9th Platoon. Do you copy? We hear you, 9th Platoon. We're approaching the bomb site, Commander. Getting bounced around pretty bad. This is as close as we get, Lieutenant. Look for somewhere to set your platoon down. Copy that. Talk to me about this Cerberus bomb. It's not Cerberus, Commander. It's Turian. What do you mean, Turian? It was planted centuries ago, after the Krogan rebellions. The bomb was a safeguard against another galactic war. That's and terrifying. It makes a certain kind of sense. Put the Krogan down hard if they tried anything. You won't earn trust with tactics like that. But right now, we focus on disarming that bomb. Yes, but Cerberus found it. Detonation means all-out war between my people and the Krogan. Right. Where is it? Those buildings ahead. Cerberus brought equipment to dig it up. The 9th Platoon will cover your flank, Commander. With all this activity, the Krogan have to know something's up. Then we can't fail, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant.
Yeah, this works fine. Actually, this is maybe my new favorite weapon. Come on. I don't know why I climbed that when I could have just done this. That. We need to keep moving. Once we reach the bomb, I'll need to reprogram the trigger mechanism. Man, I'm really liking this Geth Plasma SMG. Slam, come on and slam, and welcome to the slam. Come on and slam, it's a space slam. We defeat the Krogan and then plant a bomb on the planet. Pretty extreme, but desperate times. A cunning strategy. Control your enemies without them knowing it. Nice. Yeah, except for that would lead to like a certain amount of inequality between, in, in, especially in negotiations between the Krogan and the Turian, where the Turian were like, oh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're going to do this. And they're like, well, we won't allow you to do that. Oh, yeah, you won't? Okay. Unless the, the only people who really knew about it were like really the high up people. And I bet that's not the case. I bet like a decent number of the high-ish up people know. Copy that. That goo was a man. I'm getting a lot of Cerberus radio chatter. They're prepping for evac. I don't like the sound. I can't figure out how to get over there, so I'll just teleport. Teleport slam. Ah, uh, it doesn't work. But this does. That does too. You didn't have to shout, Shepard. We gotta move, Shepard. Commander, we're entering the bomb site. Moving towards the control station. Roger that. Ah. We're on our way. Come on in. And welcome to the... Everything they've got. It was a mistake to allow us to get this far. I would love to know what the uh, Protheans think of uh, Sorry, what the the Turians think of the Krogan I'm at the control panel, Commander Cerberus set up a firewall around the trigger mechanism to slow us down I need to create a bypass. That'll take time. But like I love how like everybody in Mass Effect can hack. Like why can that guy hack? He's a soldier. You should be like, oh, we need an engineer to hack this computer, right? Like why can anyone do that? Is that like putting like aircraft cable over the button? Like that's the, the, the Mass Effect equivalent. Like everyone learns C in high school. Are you sure you can disarm the trigger? 
Great question. Well, basically what I'm asking. Buy me a few minutes, Commander. Okay. Maybe you should have made apps. Starting bypass. And thank you for making sure I get this chance. Just make it right, soldier. Look out! Commander! Focus on the bomb. We'll handle Cerberus. It just nails him? Like, why would they not shoot him? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We've got company. I need more shooting. Y'all are dead. You guys are dead. And you're all dead. Did you drop in multiple places? You're dead. You guys are all dead. Yeah, well, they ain't got much. Shepard, take that thing down now. Can't handle the slam. Spirits, Cerberus hacked the trigger mechanism. It's set to detonate. Disarm it. No time. I have to separate the trigger from the bomb now. Cover me. Don't you fall. Literally the fate of the galaxy rests on you not falling right now. He knows this thing well. Lieutenant! Victory. At any cost. That's how I feel, man. Commander, I've got radio chatter coming in from Krogan Forces planet side. Sounds like they started sweeping out the remaining Cerberus troops. Hate to be the guy who told the Krogan about that surprise package. Did you get out all right? Sounds like it got ugly down there. The Turians took a lot of casualties, Joker. The Primarch's son included. Understood, Commander. Joker out. He never hesitated. Whatever he was before, he'll be remembered for this. What will the Turians think about this, Garrus? Hard to say. Sacrifice in war is expected. He did us proud, but we're a hard bunch to please. Living your life for the cause. Society first, platoon first. It's all just expected. He did what he had to do when it counted. Yes. Yes, he did.
Good work on Tachunka, Commander. Stopping that bomb prevented the war between the Turians and the Krogan. We can't afford that kind of division right now. Joker said the Krogan are recovering the bomb. They moved in. Won't allow Turians to send in recovery crews to help. Understandable. The situation is fragile at the moment. With Rex and the Primarch aboard the Normandy, you've got a situation brewing. We don't have a solid alliance between those two yet. Keep the peace, Commander. That's an order. Yes, sir. Heck it out. We couldn't risk another galactic war with the Krogan. The Genophage wasn't enough? You had to plant a bomb on my planet? The decision was made hundreds of years ago. So much has changed. Not enough to tell us about the bomb, coward. Hey! We can't let the past rip us apart. Working together, we have a chance. Primarch, you had a bomb on Tachanka. And Rex, in the Turian's place, you would have done the same damn thing. Shepard. It's over. His own son died today, making this right. Please, Commander. It's all right. Yes, fine. Shepard, you made your point. We have stronger enemies to face. Stronger? We do. <laughs> Victus is like, well, uh, well, I mean, you, we're pretty, we're pretty, we're pretty strong. We're I understand strong. the reservations work out. Before, Commander, but I hope you now understand the secrecy. Secrets get people killed. You've learned that the hard way. Yes. The hardest lesson I'm ever to learn. Oh, God, that was really, really bad to say. Oh, man, he, mm, ooh, that's rough. That's rough. A little more tactful might have been a good move. My son, he died with the respect of his men. I wanted to thank you for that. His sacrifice will be recorded in the histories of the Ninth Platoon. Something any father would be proud of. Yes, sir. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on Vincom. Sure. I haven't talked to Anderson basically the whole game, so why not? I'll do one more mission. Shepard. So I What's up, my dude? Wipe the galaxy clean of Reapers and we can all come up for air? Yeah. Not quite. Done. There have been a few complications. Aren't there always? Hackett filled me in on the crucible. Sounds like you've got some knots to untangle. I'm just glad I could take care of one of them for you. I gather you and Kaylee Sanders were close. I owe you for that one, Shepard. Kaylee and I met almost 20 years ago. We even had a run-in with Saren in his early days. She and oh, I yeah. Were... More than close. Oh. She misses you. I miss her. End of the world has a way of reminding you what you forgot to do. Mm. Maybe when the war's over, Kaylee and I will do something about that. You'll see her soon. Well, that's now the second most important thing to me in the game. Like a galaxy full of scared. Thanks, dude. Friends. Listen, you can't say like hopeful, dreamy things to Shepard. He'll immediately be like, "Well, guess I'll have to kill an entire race so that that can happen." It's what you hired me to do. Mostly, you were hired to kill Reapers. I hope you haven't been sidetracked by all the politics. Oh, I did start. I can't yeah, I did start negotiating with you? Reapers. That's my Earth? bad. I'll, I'll get right back on that. But let's just say a lot of cities around the world have stopped checking in. Mm. That bad? You and I knew what we were in for, but everyone else? I don't think the shock's worn off yet. Are you safe? That changes by the hour. I caught a shuttle evac out of Vancouver. And I was running from Foxhole to Foxhole just trying to stay alive. What about the Reapers? They're harvesting everything that moves. They're focusing on the big cities, which does give us some room to maneuver. You think you can hang on? Hell, we're still just trying to talk to each other. Right now, all we can do is organize the resistance at a local level. No lack of volunteers, at least. Everybody knows what's at stake. Hey! I saw, I saw Ultra Chat saying, How's saving the galaxy, my pookie bear? And then a little tag above it that said first time chat, which makes the the sort of pet name 
re- real confusing there. Um, but 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 cool. Uh, saving the world's pretty good. And then I got Steve popping in, gaming nerd six fifteen. Uh, how you doing, man? I don't know how we'll win this yet, but we will, even if it kills me. Well, you already died once, and that didn't slow you down. But let's not tempt fate. Keep yourself safe, Shepard. You too, sir. We'll talk again soon. Anderson out. Bye. All right. Um, we can maybe talk to him about his son dying. Again, that sounds fun, right? Thank you for ensuring my son died with honor. <laughs> okay, that's a. Father can hope for. May, really? Is it? Because I would say like maybe your son not dying would also be like a good thing, right? Despite everything, Primarch, I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you, Commander. And I know I'm not the first to lose their son to this war. Needless to say. I'm committed to stopping the Reapers. Yep. Yep. That's all. Of course, Command. All right. Um, maybe we can talk to Rex about the bomb. I'm sure he's really excited. The Turians pull another move like that, Shepard, and this alliance is off. Well, they didn't pull that move now. They pulled that move, like, thousands of years ago. I've got Reapers on my planet. A bomb that almost blew up my planet. And if those two fail, the genophage to make sure we all go extinct anyway. I don't want to hear about who has it hard. Understood. You sure? Good. Now is there something you need? No. Just want to say hi. Uh, let's see if... Uh, Liara and Garrus are still chatting, because I love that. Category 6 after Eden Prime. That's 6? I've been on Eden Prime, I'd have lost it too. He fought it, said he was still fit for duty. Last thing he told me was that he was joining Cerberus. That's, um... That's upsetting. I heard what Victor's did. He was a brave man. I don't think I could... Uh, there I go again. I was going to say that I could never do that. But? But I was wrong. Being here, watching you, you've shown me what it means to serve in the Alliance. You're a good officer, trainer. I'm Glad sorry you to hear that, realized. Steve. Thanks. And not that I'm volunteering for bomb jump duty. I'd suggest sending someone who has armor first. I'm glad that you have good support. If, I'm, if you ever want to talk, I'm always here, okay? I hope that you have a, a nice weekend. That sounds good. That sounds important. I'm really sorry to hear that. I hope they're talking in here again because that was really cute. Oh, they're in their separate rooms. Hey, little pep. Do you want to come up here and join the stream? Again. The population of the colony world of Tyvor has been killed. I don't understand. The Reapers have been taking people alive. It was self inflicted. When Reaper forces invaded, Tyvor's colonists detonated nuclear weapons inside their cities. Goddess. Their deaths would have been instantaneous, Doctor. Thank you, Glyph. That'll be all. Oh, my cat's here and he's being real cute. Oh yeah? Oh man, I'm I'm falling behind because I was watching Pete Complete's thing and I definitely was ahead of him. I I I, I had a uh, kind of rough couple Busy. weeks myself and ended up you'd like to talk. skipping fact, a couple streams as, as I think What's I may mentioned on Discord how or something. How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail... Oh, I'm only 109 sweet boy. Shepherd. 
I could live to see the entire oh, bye -bye. cycle come to an end. Well, you don't look a day over a hundred and two. Only a hundred and nine, huh? I know. It must seem strange to complain about a thousand year lifespan. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liara. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving it forward. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Hmm. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. I uh, hold forward, and then sometimes I press A. Um, if bad guys show up, I press left bumper, because that makes me punch the ground really, really hard. I think of the people I care about. That helps keep me going. I'm glad I'm among them. I hope. Of course you are. You kidding? I feel better already. Thank you for coming by, Shepard. Why don't we talk later? Okay, but just to be clear, not interested. Just hey, maybe maybe you didn't think I was. Maybe that was never an idea. But gotta make it clear, not interested. Nothing there. Uh, we can probably chat with Garrus for a sec. I'll assume you didn't know about this. My good friend wouldn't hide the fact that his people planted a doomsday bomb on my planet, right? Rex, I was just as much in the dark as you. Honest. <laughs> That's what I needed to hear. Just making you sweat, Garrus. Wasn't sure you could. You're always so calm. I'd be happy to give Krogan some lessons on relaxing. <laughs> and we'd be happy to feed you to a thresh. Um, I doubt that there's anyone else we can talk to about anything, but let's talk to Javik for a minute. Let's just see. Why not? It doesn't take that long to talk to everyone. If they don't have anything to say, uh, if Javik doesn't have anything to say, then I'm just going to go straight back up. Your people would have made a good addition to our empire, Durian. You are cunning. Uh huh. And by addition, do you mean slave race? Subservient race. Right. Calling it that makes all the difference. But you did not go far enough. Either you should have detonated the bomb on the Krogan world. Or used it as leverage. I think we were just trying to guarantee peace. A static mode of existence. Nothing changes. Nothing struggles. Nothing grows. On the upside, we all get to live another day. Nice chatting. There is some enjoyment in speaking to the Sturian. His knowledge of war is formidable. Though he would be an even better marksman if he had four eyes. <laughs> Back when the Krogan rebelled, I would have detonated a bomb that day. There was no need for the genophage. Yes? Yes? Um, was it possible to kill them through, through conventional means? I don't know if they ever really... I th feel like they touched on that at some point. Oh, I wasn't going to go down hey, here. Esteban, for your shuttle being so stealthy and all, you sure do get shot at a lot. Well, the UT-47A stealth systems only internalize heat and high band emissions. So while few sensors can pick us up, our cover is blown as soon as someone looks up. Time for an upgrade. Most scanners and tracking systems don't operate in mid-range frequencies. Sure, maybe we've been shot at, but we haven't been shot down. Yet. Lucky for us, you're almost as good a pilot as you think you are. Well, yeah. There's that, too. That last drop on Tachanka was intense. I tried providing air support, but the sky was so full of Cerberus, it was like someone kicked a hornet's nest. Don't Shuttle's get yourself killed, dude. Drop. Shuttle's primed for the next drop. I'm gonna change out of the hoodie into a leather jacket. I was starting to like him. Hey. Hey. I bet I could get that jacket. Like, I bet that's a real jacket. 
Maybe I'll, I might use that as an excuse to get that jacket. Or I might use Halloween as an excuse to get that jacket next year. I know that's a year from now, but it's, it's a good looking jacket. All right. Yeah, let's do this one.